hello guys and welcome to my youtube channel if you're new to my channel kindly don't forget to subscribe and if you're returning sabi well thank you for your support and keeping it here so today i am a going to be addressing an issue that has been of concern and in the last few days I've been receiving text messages and DMs from people who are going through domestic violence and this is very disheartening it's very sad considering I am a victim of domestic violence in the past and I know how this you know affects someone in the long run um, well I will begin by telling you, ladies, that it is okay to talk, open up, and that's always the first step to actually, you know, empowering yourself with the ability to be able to move away from abuse. I have had my nose broken almost up to four times. First of all, you should all know that a person who abuses others, does not care about them you know they will control your mind lie to you just so that you think that they're the only people you have they will try as much as possible to pull you away from the rest of the world so that they can actually inflict whatever they want to do inflict whatever pain they want to inflict on you and and this is one of their strategies that I learned I need to remind you one thing today you need to put yourself first in everything you do and we tend to put everyone else's needs other than our own first it's time to put yourself first you are important to stop worrying about what others think of you you need to stop doing that completely oh if I wear this dress today what will somebody else think of this dress is it too showy are my arms too out there you need to stop worrying about what others think of you and in marriage especially or in relationships especially because most of the time we are left you know worrying oh my god if I don't walk hand in hand with him this guy who is still abusing you at night if I don't walk holding his hand or close to him by his side what will people think they will think that we're not having a happy relationship if we don't take pictures in the studio you know holding each other with a lion a fake dead lion you know people will think we are not happy truth of the matter you're not happy so you need to stop trying to please or even worrying about what others think of you the same people you're worried about how they will, I mean what they will think about you or what they will say about you are the same people who will talk and say oh my god what was she doing there why was she clinging on to that man forcing things that are not there so you need to cut that part out block those people that you're worried about be you do you you know do whatever pleases you stop comparing yourself to others stop looking at other people's lives and thinking oh I don't have that why don't I have that appreciate what you have Appreciate what you can do for yourself, for your family. Appreciate the little that you've been blessed with. Stop comparing, oh, because so-and-so is driving a big car, or because so-and-so is dressing up in, you know, is wearing or is, is wearing some designer clothes or is going out every night to party. Why am I not doing that? You need to stop comparing yourself to other people. The moment you do that, you'll be so liberated, you'll feel at ease, and you will be able to build yourself from there, feel comfortable, you'll be confident, you'll even be building your confidence, because you'll be like, no, this is me, this is my journey. Once you focus on your journey, like, focus and on what is important, of importance to you, because that is distraction that you're letting come your way that is pure distraction that is not going to help you in any growth it's just going to destroy you and you'll keep hating yourself you keep hating what you have you keep you can't even be happy in your relationship you can't even be happy within yourself because you're like oh i don't have that kind of dress wear whatever you have even if it's a sack 
and walk head high because that's what you can manage. All right. And another thing, your value, my dears, your value is not defined by your body type or the way you look. You know, your value isn't defined. Your value, you're valuable because you're you. Not because of how you look, not because of your appearance. Just because you don't have whatever someone else, else has, just because you don't look like someone else, you don't have the physical appearance like someone else, doesn't mean you're not valuable. So don't bring yourself down thinking, oh, why don't I look like that? And then you have those spent sleepless nights trying to think what you can do to achieve, to, what you can do to achieve that. And once you are not able to achieve that, because probably it's too expensive to achieve that, then you start hating on yourself. You start walking head low, looking down because you cannot look up. You don't want to face the world because you think you're a failure. Trust me, <clears throat> whatever I come across, I don't care about the monetary value. As long as it looks good on me, I rock it. As long as it makes me feel good, I rock it. I walk out of that door just thinking, oh, there's no other like. And by the way, there's no other like me. Appreciate yourselves. Love yourselves. You know, that way you will be able to live happily. Not wondering, not worrying that um, I can only feel comfortable if I had a body like that one. I can only feel comfortable if I had um, a dress like that one, shoes like those ones, a car like that one. And you forget about what you have here. The in, you know, uh, a person is not defined, I said again earlier, not defined by the outward look. It's in here, in the heart. What makes you is in here. You could be wearing all those expensive, designer, cute clothes and everything, but you have the ugliest of hearts. You know? You could be wearing a sack or a rag and have the kindest and the most beautiful heart ever. If I was asked to choose between those two people, the designer clothes one and this one who's wearing a rag, I would definitely want to hang out more or be on the side of that one who is wearing a rug because they have a beautiful heart and that's what defines a person. Do not be afraid to let go of toxic people. There is a lot of people out there in the world who are so full of anger, so full of hate that the only energy they release out there is toxic. It is poisonous to you. It's, it's harmful to you. And they don't even take responsibility for it. They just go releasing toxic, toxic, toxic here, toxic there. And they don't care. They don't even bother to, you know, sit down and think, what have, we, what have I done? They will come and tell you hurtful things. They will be talking about you in a negative way. And you are afraid to let go of them because you think, oh, I just want to hang out with them because they look cool or because they, you know, I've known them for a long time. Do not be scared to cut off toxic people. And actually, don't be sorry for it. It's for your own good. Evaluate how you feel. And this will help you gain clarity and also unmask the issues that are causing anxiety in your life. But do not, under any circumstance, decide that, oh, I'm just going to stick here and try to change this person who's being toxic. I'm just going to sit here and try to change this person who's being abusive. You know? I'm just going to sit here and try to adjust it's being beaten up every day, being thrown outside in the middle of the night. No one deserves that. Nobody at all. Nobody deserves And if anyone who does that to other people should be locked away somewhere, you know, should be kept somewhere. Locked and the key should be thrown away. Because that's inhuman. Even animals don't do that. Okay, maybe lions eat other animals, but I'm just trying to say it's not a way to live. So I have been receiving 
calls and text messages of women who have been going through a lot of you know when i listen to this some of these stories i am left wondering oh my god i'm not judgmental at all because i also stayed for four years uh and i made excuses too but nobody used to talk i never used to hear people talking like i am trying to speak out right now saying i went through that and i managed to walk away from it don't just keep quiet talk to somebody because that's what causes most of the deaths uh, people die from this you're beaten up nobody knows you're being beaten up you're being mistreated you die from it and nobody you know even knew what you're going through because you never spoke up don't be scared to talk it's very important trust your inner self I mean you know yourself better than anybody else it's like you know what you're feeling better I mean you could if you could, you could try your level best to explain what you're going through how you're feeling but even if I'm your closest friend and I try to go like okay I understand what you're feeling I do not actually know you're the only person who can be your best advocate to make decisions to decide okay that's it this is not something I can take anymore I am done taking these I am walking away I'm standing up for myself all right so be your best advocate stand up for yourself make decisions based on how you feel in here not because not sometimes actually like you know we ask people how how do i look in this dress what do you think about this dress but deep down i know i'm not going to wear this dress i'm just asking to get that opinion someone will be like mm, you look good they don't even look at it twice be like mm, you look good. so it's better when you decide you know following your heart what you feel what you want not the other person Last but not least, my dears, be kind to yourself. Love yourself. Appreciate yourself. Do not stand aside as people are criticizing you. Join the crowd and start criticizing yourself as well. Someone goes like, oh my God, Esther, what's that curly hair you're wearing today? It looks so wrong. It looks bad. What's that lipstick? Doesn't look good. And you join the crowd and go like, "Oh, you're right. That lipstick looks wrong. I'm taking it." Nada. Be kind to yourself. You know, love yourself. Don't join the crowd in going like. If they tell you, if they say you don't look good, you don't, you know, you can't do anything good in life. Don't join them saying. They're right. I can't do anything good. Don't join them and say, they're right. I don't look beautiful. I can't stand in front of people. Build yourself up. You're a valuable person. Your life is of importance. Don't allow people to toss you up and down like a ball. Don't allow people to kick you around. To make decisions that are not even good for you. You know, have that. Um, back home, we say, call yourself in for a meeting. Call yourself in. Sit down with yourself and talk to yourself. Make decisions that are good for you. Talk to somebody if you need to. Open up. That's important. It's important to have somebody to talk to. That's true. But at the end of the day, you are the one with the last or final decision don't allow yourself to be the punching bag for other people who don't even care about you so i hope you like this video thank you for watching don't forget to leave me a comment and let me know what you think until next time it's adios love always bye